at the cemetery, I saw the picture of a 12-year-old girl. She was a beautiful child. Her name was Tanya. The pages of her diary tell the terrible story of war. In the simple words of a child, she wrote of the deaths of the members of her family. Zenya in December. Granny in January. Yucca. Then Uncle Basha. Then Uncle Leosha. Then Mama. And then the Savishas. And then finally, these words, the last words in her diary. All are dead. Only Tanya is left. As we work toward a more peaceful world, let us think of Tanya and of the other Tanyas and their brothers and sisters everywhere. Let us do all that we can to ensure that no other children will have to endure what Tanya did, and that your children and our, all the children of the world, can live their full lives together in friendship and in peace. Spasiba y dos Thank you and goodbye. President Nixon offers a lasting message to the people of Russia, a pledge to continue the quest for peace among all nations. This is why we need President Nixon now more than ever. They don't want, they don't want you to get in. They want Nixon to stay in power here yet. Why? If we were fighting communism, why should he stay in business? Now, personally, I think it was a good thing the president went to Peking. Right. I think it's a good thing we're trying to improve our relations with Russia. But why do we say that 15 million people in North Vietnam are a greater threat to the United States because they're communists than 800 million people in China or 300 million in Russia. This is the thing that doesn't make sense. I voted for, I voted for Nixon in 68. I never voted for a Republican before until he come along and says he's going to stop this war, which he didn't. Now all of a sudden he's stopping it. Well, do you know who you're going to vote for this year? George McGovern! McGovern, Democrat for the people.